Hey, yo, what's up, YouTube? It's the one and only Don Daddy. You know it's murder. Whoa, oh my God, Don. <laughs> um, today we're reacting to Ice Spice is about to ruin her career, which I agree with. Because Ice Spice is actually trash now. To be honest, she's trash. She never really was good. It was like she was so she was so like her her music was so like jokeable and laughable and, and like actually trash that it became good. Like the 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 Boys of Liar, that was actually a good song though. I ain't gonna lie. Or you thought I was feeling you? Yeah, uh, but yeah, 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 yeah. I ain't gonna lie, that was tough. It had like a little anthem behind it, whatever, whatever. But discarding that it's been trash. I ain't gonna lie. Her, her she, she kind of ruining it. I ain't gonna lie. All she doing is shake it. She shaking butt, and we, it, she not even rapping anymore. She not even spitting. She just shaking a little butt, and she, and she losing it. She losing. She lost weight. So it's like, and she don't, and she not friends with Nicki Minaj no more. So it's, it's, it's like Ice who? It's, it's, it's not like, like I don't know. You, you losing your rhythm, my baby. Ice Spice is about to ruin her career. Despite having the love of the people for the past two years and working with people like Pink Panthers, Nicki Minaj, and even Taylor Swift, it seems as though the tides are turning on Ice Spice and her downfall might be here sooner rather than later. And with her debut studio album just around the corner, it's safe to say uh, that Ice still than later. And with her debut. Imagine debut fact. studio right, album right. just around it's the fact. corner but it's safe to say that i spice let's, career let's, um, is about to hit a make or break point but to truly understand what i mean let's just talk about it people have been praying on ice spice's downfall since she burst into the scene with the release of much though many dismissed her as a one-hit wonder that would quickly disappear ice spice has proven to be more resilient than people gave her credit for ice spice went from being a one-hit wonder to a two-hit wonder to eventually solidifying herself as a name in music. However, yeah. that just created even more allegations for her to fight. Not necessarily criminal level allegations, but a lot of people claim that Ice Spice was nothing more than an industry <laughs> plant, which I in the decade lie, that we live in is probably the worst thing you can be called as an artist. Being an industry plant is another way of saying an artist doesn't deserve to be where they are. And the narrative around Ice Spice was always that. With a repetitive flow and simple lyric, the overnight success of Ice Spice just seemed fishy to some people. And though it's hard to prove that you're not an industry plan all you really do to shake off those allegations and dismiss the label is to prove people wrong which is exactly what Ice Spice set out to do. And as 2022 became 2023, Ice Spice had some tricks up her sleeve. Working alongside Pink Panthers, Ice Spice would be included on the remix. That song, I ain't gonna lie, that song is so tough. Like they did their thing on that. That that that's a long lasting song, I ain't gonna lie. That is so hard, bro. That's so tough, bro. It's the boy's liar, and let's just say that the song did great. Peaking inside the top three of the Billboard Hot 100, not only was Pink Panther's biggest hit, it was also the biggest hit for Ice Spice, who was now becoming a mainstream name. And not just that, Ice Spice would also find herself working alongside Taylor Swift, which in 2024 is a pretty big fucking deal, man. You know how big you gotta be for Drake to use you as a weapon for how big you are with streaming numbers? My point is that you could be a big star, and having a song with Taylor Swift will still be a pretty big deal. But then again, Ice Spice wasn't that. She was established in a way, but even that was shaky. Basically, all I'm really saying is, God himself was blessing Ice Spice at this point. God. And her name... I was distracted, my bad. I'm really I, I, saying I, I, is, I, I, God himself was blessing Ice Spice. See, bro, this how the, this how she get us right here. This is how she get us, bro. This how she get us right here shaking this. But her music is trash. At this point, and her name only grew from that moment when Barbie was set to release, which was, by the way, one of the biggest movies of 2023. And I'd reckon to say the biggest event of 2023. It was Ice Spice who found herself in the center of attention alongside with Nicki Minaj with the release of Barbie World. The song skyrocketed to the top 10 of Billboard's Hot 100, now, just becoming come. Ice Spice's fourth song yeah. to do. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, what? You know what I'm saying? When the movie came out, 
I used to be singing that, hey. So, but more notably, it was also the second one with Nicki Minaj on board. By the way, I'm also very close to getting to 45,000 subs, and I would just very appreciate it. Bro, he's if at so least close, one of you bro. Guys sub could subscribe. Y'all don't have to, but every sub counts. And I appreciate it, you know? Anyways, I think we all know how crazy the bars can get when you are against them. But it goes both ways at the same time. When it comes to being ride or die, they really are ride or die. And I'm not saying that being not a barbs, Nicki Minaj the barbs is, is gonna top, make you automatically one of the top successful, communities. it goes a long yeah, way, doesn't it? And in lie. case you need any more proof, by the end of 2023, Ice Spice was everywhere. Her songs continued to rack up streams on Spotify and go viral on TikTok. And outside of the music, she was finding herself in commercial commercials for Dunkin Donuts and Starry. The reality is that you can no longer dismiss Ice Spice as just a one yes. hit wonder. Not Bruh. only was she established in hip hop, she, she was established drink. in pop. That. And hell, I would even say she was established outside of music as a whole. And if everything went right, Ice Spice could build an empire, a nice five Chill. year run at the top of the game. But that's not exactly what happened. And I think the turning point here was when she released Think You The Shit in parentheses fart. Think you the shit, bitch? You're not even the fuck. Here's the thing. That song is so bad, and I don't, like, I will forever say how bad that song is. I don't understand why she actually dropped that song. She could have left that unreleased little, little snippet, you know what I'm saying, little TikTok clip. That song is trash. If you think you're, the, you're not even the fart. I'm going to look at you with the straightest face if you say that to me. I'm going to be like. I'm instantly in my head. I'm boxing you out. I'm I'm like this. I'm I'm hitting you with two pieces and stuff. I'm hitting you with a two three piece combo from Popeyes. I guarantee you that, bro. It's no way she really thought about that and be like, yeah, that's that's it. That's the one. Like no. There are artists where if their music is exceptional enough, it transcends how bad of a person they are. And then there are artists where their music might be trash, but they're just that much of a cult of personality. And I don't think Ice Spice is either of those, to be honest with you. And I think this song was what marked the beginning of the end. Or at least the beginning of a bumpy road. Because though funny, think you the shit, bitch, you not even a fart, is a line so bad that it can ruin your career. And I know she's not the only one to do this, and rappers do poop bars and shit bars and fart bars. But if there's one rule that I will always insist on, at least when it comes to hip hop and life in general, is that you can make a poop bar or a fart bar. But at the end of the day, it will always be shitty, especially as a single, because yeah, most rappers do have poop bars, but they get away with it because it's like the 10th track on a 15th track album. Like, I don't know, man. I feel like someone at management should have caught this. But while we're at it, the reason why I think this song is the turning point that it is, is because this song is also a diss track. Thing is for me, why am I like, why am I seeing that I'm in the back? of your weak ass snippet. Like that's why right. I was oh, literally like So I was like, oh, she's about that bro. Me? so I'm like, okay, since we're talking about me, let's talk about me and I dropped that. I haven't cared much for the lotto beef if I'm being honest, but it's safe to say that the two had been beefing for a while. And though Ice Spice had ignored it, this was the song with which she decided to finally respond. And honestly, as a diss track, this works even worse. And it's not just me thinking it, it's the general audience. Because not only does this mark the beginning of, hey, you know, Ice Spice's music isn't that good. It also marked the beginning of, you know what? Ice Spice's personality is not all that. We don't need to grant her loyalty. And this isn't me hating on Ice Spice, or at least I'm not trying to. But in comparison to other artists, when the general audience finally turn on them and their fans stick through and stay loyal, they've at least been on top of the game for like five years or more. Like yeah. they might be able to survive the Kendrick Lamar avalanche, but that's because he's been on top of the game for a decade and a half. Nicki Minaj might survive everybody hating on her, but that's because she's been on top of the game for a decade and a half. Taylor Swift managed to survive people calling her a snake, but that was because she was on top of her game for a decade. But there's a reason why <laughs> chance the rapper didn't survive the horrible horrible crime of putting out a bad album or in other words ice spice could be the next chance rapper ah. 
Ice Spice has only been oh, around really for bad. two years, not, which man. isn't enough to gather that much love from the public. Rapper, which is why why 2K is a make or break album for Ice Spice. Because in the last few months, Ice Spice has become a polarizing figure in the eyes of the public. Not only was she caught talking about Nicki Minaj behind her back, but she also finds herself in the middle of drama with Central C and his ex-girlfriend and her potentially being a home wrecker. Honestly, it's the type of thing I don't pay that much attention to, but her fans do, and, and well, at the end of the day, as an artist, that's all you have. And because Ice Spice is relatively new, if she fails with Y2K, I would have to doubt that she will ever be as big as she was for the last year. But if she succeeds... Wait, so that's her album? Her album is called Y2K? I, I believe it came out today! Wait, it comes out, it comes out in midnight, it comes out midnight, it comes out midnight. Yeah, that junk gonna be trash. Uh, but we we not even gonna we not even gonna look into we're we're not even gonna look into it, bro. Maybe should we? It might be trash, which is definitely possible. There's no telling who can stop Ice Spice. It would just be another reminder of why Ice Spice is just unstoppable. But if she were to fail which is definitely a big possibility, if not a bigger possibility, then she would only have herself to blame and her lack of improvement. But will she fail? Will she succeed? Only time can tell. It can definitely go either way, but something inside of me is telling me that Ice Spice really is about to ruin her career. Well, uh, I just finished reading a book. Uh, I'm on to another book. Uh, it was this uh, young adult novel, though. So it doesn't really count like as a crazy book to read. But, you know, after reading that Malcolm X autobiography, I just needed a, a, a little easy read to cool off, you know? Shut hey, man. So let me know how y'all feel about Ice Spice and stuff like that. I already told y'all my reaction. I already, I, already, I already know, bro. Ice Spice, you're, you're done, my baby. You're done. Everybody's catching up to you. We we tired of that little shaking butt to get away with it. Next is sexy red. I guarantee you that. But I want you to like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications. I love you. Have a great night. Peace.